What is up, gamers? Welcome back to Planet Zero. I freeze, but come back to life. We're going back to Victopia. Your boy's been grinding in the background. Again, you guys are smashing it with the support on this series. I very much appreciate it. I'm having a blast. I was actually a little worried. After episode one, I was like, really, really struggling. Wait. Hello, I like to go to my zoo. The heck? I think it's... Wait, why am I here? No, I don't want to do a new zoo. Okay. I don't know what's going on here. We're going to restart the game. Um, but yeah, after episode one, I was like really struggling with like the controls and everything. I feel like quitting was a bad idea. We know that the game's a little buggy. Um, it has a lot of things to load in. Um, don't forget to save. No, I won't. Um, the game seems to have... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Is it good now? I don't know if it's good or not. Wait, let me just... Alright, Planet Zoo, we're gonna restart you. Let's just, let's just, let's just restart the zoo. <laughs> A slight, slight false start here. My goodness, my my womb is, is, is raw. My room is warm. Is that a tongue twister? Probably not. Just got back from the gym. Um, I'm ready to work on this deal. I have done some background behind the scenes work. Happy Thanksgiving to all my American compadres. And uh, we had turkeys in honor. I don't know. All right. Yo, I saw the cutest thing ever. So there's a clip on Reddit, on the Planet Zoo Reddit, of this guy. And he, whenever he launches the game, whenever the elephant comes running through, like three seconds later, his dog comes running into the room. And he's like, what's going on? And every single time the elephant comes through, that happens. Okay, let's resume. Okay, this is looking better. This is looking like, this is looking like our zoo coming back in. Never forget to save. I got that positive mindset. I actually dropped my resolution down to 1080p. And... In practice, we had less crashes, but that was when I was not streaming or recording. So, hopefully, we'll be fine. But yeah, we're, we're ready to get in. How much do I lift? I uh, haven't done bench press in a while, because I don't have one in my own gym. Uh, but today, I was, I was bench pressing... Uh, I was bench pressing... I was doing 55 kg, which is like, I don't know, like 110 pounds um, for like 6 to 8 reps. I, I, I managed to do 60 in the Sidemen's strength test video. I probably could have done 65, I reckon, but it went through up to 70 and I failed. Um, but that was when I weighed 65 kg. I've done a bit of cutting, I'm down to 60 kg. But I'm probably going to make a video about that whole thing soon. Anyway, welcome back. Um, as you can see, we have a, uh, a new and improved viewing area for, for the bear exhibit. Now, I was told that having wheelchair access to viewing areas increases their effectiveness by 5%. I don't know if that is true or not. So I don't know if it's kind of, it looks quite cool, I guess, having the ramps, but I may start focusing on more staircases. But actually, I like that this is like a new kind of flow through coming around here. I absolutely adore this that I put in. It just works perfectly. This eye also looks very cool. Nothing's quite centralized here, but it's perfectly imperfect. Added in this tree, uh, kind of worked out all this stuff. What else have we done since last episode? I think that's the main stuff we've done. It took me a long time to do that. You guys know how fiddly paths can be. So we've got all this in the house. And uh, we're going to be getting a new animal today. Perhaps hyenas. Also, can someone come and clean up in here? You, you're trying to clean up, I guess. Someone needs to clean Habitat 9 ASAP. Well, do it yourself. He's placing some food. Um, yeah, this habitat cleanliness is an issue. I guess one of the best at a mega dump, potentially. You know what, actually? The thing is, there's one, there's one keeper, and his whole job is to do that. So I don't know what's up with that. But you know what? Let's add a new staff room facility over here. Because I said I was going to do that. Do I need to do that? I mean, then again, surely this is working. Like, I haven't had any messages saying that, you know, my staff rooms are full. or my Because I've only got one keeper's hut, which is here, right? But actually, it, it never it never overdoes capacity. So actually, maybe we don't need a new staff room just yet. So maybe I'll just kind of leave that as something to do in that area. And let's look over here. We've got our new power and uh, water over here. The water goes out to there. Power goes out to there. But realistically, I could get another exhibit here. But honestly, I think I want to build something else over this way. Drag people away from Bear City. This has always been quite popular. We're at over a thousand guests. 
This is very, very beautiful. Make two animals fight each other. No, have you seen how good my stats are? Have you seen how good my stats are? No, I'm not. I'm not doing that. No, sorry. Okay. This toilet facility is broken now. Mechanic is requested. So hopefully we'll get to that. We've got vision to play. Let's go and say hello to you. And you know what? Let's look what animals are up on the uh, animal trading and see what we're going to work with. Money's flying up as well. You know, actually, this is no one thing I do definitely want to do that I'm going to do right now. Is I definitely want uh, to get more stuff unlocked. Yeah, you, you know what I mean. Uh, more scenery and stuff. So I'm going to get a new workshop so I can have two dudes working at once. Let's get the heat map up. Um, heat map for negative impact on gas. Yeah, I could have that there. And that barely touches where the gas are. So let's see if we can get that right in there. I don't like the way the like the rooftop is misaligned. I mean, I could also have it right there. That's actually a bit nice. I mean, it's not great. Actually, another place I could have it is there, but that would mean I need pathing all the way around there. Where do we where do we put this sucker? Because ideally, if I want to get more buildings in here, like going up and up is the way. Is that acceptable? Does that look acceptable? The kind of cross design. I mean, it's probably the only other building I'm going to add here. So you know what I'm going to do? I don't know. I am assuming. You, yeah, I'll just drop it there. That's fine. Assuming you guys can hear that better. You good, buddy? So this is one thing people also said. I need to pause more while I'm building because that's potentially causing the crashes. So what we're going to do is now we've got two workshops. Uh, you know, money's no problem. So I'm going to hire a new mechanic and put him in one. So, you know, I'm feeling brave, actually. I'm going to keep running it in real time because I want to get rid of this rain before we start building. So we're going to hire a new mechanic. Got the star. You know, here's what we're going to do. We're going to hire a mechanic. Then we're going to add the new mechanic to, we're going to get him on, let's say put him on, let's put him on Aardvark and Bongo fences. Put him on the Aardvark and Bongo fences. Then I want to take you and I want to put you on No Work Zone. Your name is Cody Lusk and you're a five star legend of the scene. So now I want to take Cody Lusk and get him on the research, research ground. So let's get on the mechanic research, let's get Cody in the house. And let's get you working on, what do we want to go for? You know, let's get the India theme back up. I was using India. We care about that. Let's, let's, you know what, money's good. Let's give all the staff some promotion. These guys, they're, they're working at a good level right now. The keepers, again, I'm looking for kind of who has, okay, some of these guys have high workloads. Let's keep training these guys up. Because then when I get new uh, new buildings, which we're actually going to do in a second as well. When I get new buildings, they'll be able to work on them better. Because we don't want guys having high workload. As far as I'm aware, I don't really need to, uh, don't really need to work zone these guys. Because all the shops seem to be working. Visiting Claire. How am I... Is this Inception? <laughs> Yo, no lie. <laughs> This is the closest I could get to me. <laughs> and I'm getting some money. I'm getting a drink. Well, let's see. What do I have to say about the zoo? The zoo ticket price is good. That's what I think. You know, we need to work on habitat education as well. Because uh, if you look on education, for some reason it's not that high. You know, do I need more educational speakers? I think I do. Can I turn up the range of that? Is it bad to overlap? I guess it probably is. Turn up the speakers. Do, 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 Banging tune. If you know, you know. If you're about the EDM lifestyle, so that's why everyone was flocking to hear. I see, because they could they could learn. So it's good that that comes with speakers. So we need more speakers. That's something that I wasn't even aware was really a thing. So let's let's, uh, let's duplicate you. You know what? Let's stick one. Let's stick one on. <laughs> Yeet. Let's just put one on top of the uh, on top of the security camera. There we go. 
And then, let's grab you. Oh wait, no, I don't want two there. Grab you and let's have you teach them about the mandrills. Range 15. Okay, why... Why is that not... Why is that not doing it? Wait, do I need to... Why is that not doing anything? Because it's got power. I don't get it. Does anyone know why that's red right now? And you know what? Let's 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 do what we need to do. Let's save. Um, people are saying smaller speaker radius. Why though? Surely, as long as they don't overlap, they're fine. So right, let's get on this speaker. Surely, I want it like covering as much ground as possible. Turn up the speakers. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, why is that not working? I don't know. Oh, is it because no one's there? I don't know. But let's get some more speakers. What have I done? Oh, I've gone into some weird mode. Alright, that's now fixed. Um... Is overlapping the education board space, but then like so are all of these speakers, right? Look, this speaker. Look, that's overlapping that education board, so I don't see why that. Mandrills. I don't understand. There we go. Research complete. Love to see it. You know, India. Let's keep let's keep researching. Let's get some. We've got Africa scene level three. Get some of that classic theme in our life. No, actually no, let's get East Asia. Get on that. It's in the enclosure. It's not there. Wait, let's see if it's working now that she's up. Or is it too high? Let's see, advanced move. Oh, it's just it's just too high for something. I guess it's maybe too far. You know what? It's too far from the exhibit. So what I can do is I can whack it in that rock there, which is actually kind of sick because it's like a stealth stealth speaker. Stealth speaker in the building. Sick. All right, let's get more speakers then. Duplicate you. I mean, I want speakers covering everything. So I want a speaker that covers this. Is that going to piss off the animals? I don't know. We don't want it overlapping. Let's, we could put a little one here. Okay, so now I just want to grab that one. Wait, let's place that there. Wait, we want to centralize there. Now we want to grab it. We want to teach about the mandrills. Dub. There we go. You're going to learn stuff on those pathways. I guess, though, a bad thing is, like, if that is so... Uh, we only really want... I don't know, no. People tend to come to those just anyway. So let's just get loads of these. Let's get one. I'm just going to hide it on the back of it. Can I put it under the bin? Stuck it on the bin. Lel. Lel. I kind of need... You know what? I'm just going to stick it on the floor next to the bin. There we go. Let's set it to the crocodiles. We don't want to overlap this. Let's have the range to like there. And then let's duplicate that one. Let's pop another one. It should just be... Just be there. Now let's just grab the range. Let's move it a little way along. There we go, that's most of this covered now. Oh, we need hella more speakers. Why are these guys trying to walk into the enclosure? I have no idea. Click that there. Set it to the bongo. We probably want another one on the other side, so let's just have that as a little one there. You know what, let's move that to just there. I don't think these need to be super neat. 
And now let's duplicate that to this wall. Stick it on the wall. Now grab the range. As long as it doesn't overlap, it's fine. So let's bring it down a bit. There we go. Okay, there are too many aardvarks in the land. We're going to get rid of one of you boys. Let's save. Touch wood. No crashes yet. Alright, you guys is fighting. The female is fighting the male. And then... Wait, who's in this enclosure? Why are they fighting already? Do they not like... Oh, wait, did this one grow up now? Oh, he's, in, he's an adult. So, okay, we've got two males. Wait, but... We need to get rid of the other male, otherwise we're going to have a, a, an inbreeding problem. Which is bad for the gene pools. This guy's stats are that. Okay, her stats are better anyway. Wait, no, wait. There's in. Wait. That's their parents. There's... How do we... How do we deal with in inbreeding? I... It's a yikes. It's a yikes, right? It's a yikes. I don't... Am I supposed to, like, import a new aardvark? Like, every time... I... It's a yikes, right? I don't know. Um, I'm gonna have to get rid of this guy. Let's see his genetics compared to this guy. I mean that. All right, I, you have to get. I don't. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. How do you get around this problem? How do zoos get around this problem? I don't know. All right. Anyway, let's release you to the wild. Oh, 101. Woo! Okay. Timeline, everything's popping off. All mechanic research done. I promise you, we will get to uh, building an exhibit soon. So next up, I just need to get a few more speakers. Hey, there's a ballon, a ballon. Hello, ballon. You're stuck here. Okay. So, duplicate for you. Stick you there for some edumacations. Now let's make you a bird. The what animal? Aardvark. Let's have you with that range. Now let's duplicate you. Let's put you in the middle of there. Turn your range down. There we go. Result. I should make my zoo a whole lot better. I mean, now let's see educational realms. I mean, all the. Exhibit areas are doing good. So this is set to bear. Yeah, grizzly bear. I see. So those are all optimized. That's good coverage, if you ask me. It's like all of my spectating areas. So guest education should be on the up and up. Alright. Now let's go on. Look at the money flying in. We're, we're doing something right, I'm telling you. And people, I'm pretty sure, are still saying it's too cheap. Let's put it up to 17 and 9. Got a mature bonger. Wait, I... There's blooming bongos for days. I think your social group... Ah, it's fine now. Okay. Bongo city up in this. And, like, if we look at the zoo... Like, look at that. Animals are happy. Mandrill's doing work. Alright, so before we move any further, what I want to do is I want to get some, some, some sort of shops in here. Just because I feel like it's a nice way to fill this kind of little space here. So, we've got more blueprints in the house. I think food and drink is going to be... You know what we can do? We can actually look at gas here. We can toggle this up. And we can look at gas needs. So, they're mostly happy. Oh, we're going to have our first grizzly bear to grow up. So, we don't particularly need more benches. Everyone's got good energy. People are hungry over this side. And not as thirsty, but hunger. Hunger and thirst are main things. We've got queues for the toilets as well. So, we can probably deal with toilets. More toilets. I have toilets over there, but no one's using them. People feel the need for education, but... I mean, I've got a load of education stuff. So, food and drink is what we need, so... Food to do. Let's go for... Okay, that's a bit big. I had, like... I think I had a blueprint for a small... That's also quite big. Looks cool, but... I'm looking for something that will fit under here. What was it called? I could have sworn I had something called, like, s Compact African Store, Planet Zoo Food Shop. Again, I like that, but it's like, a lot of the stuff on the back is kind of needless. <laughs> Look at that person in the ground, their head's just popping up. Can I get any 
funky looking buildings under here. Like, even the glass house shops don't actually... Uh, it just about fits, actually. I could do the glass house food and drink here, actually. I like the idea of that, just tucked away under there. Sneaking its way under there. Oh, no, wait, it has to stay here. Let's see if I can get the pass down. But before we do that, we have to get rid of a grizzle bear. And let's save. Alright, because we got too many grizzles in the... So we got Ember. Wait. They called Ember and Emma. <laughs> Ember and Emma. I mean, let's see. So, Emma is looking pretty good on the stats. 3.4k. Ember, 3.7k. So, stats looking slightly better. So, actually, we're, Emma, I know you've just grown up. But we're actually going to release you to the wild. And we're going to probably get hella, hella, hella stats here. Nice. Cool. Yep. It just makes sense. It's just the... She is the worst of the two. And hopefully they'll have another little, little baby bear soon. Oh, we, we got a new bear. We released it to the wild. We're helping conservation. Okay. So, alright. Let's get that shop in. Because so I think this is like equally as tall. Yeah, we want to get that same shop front in. See if we can make this work. Blueprints. Glasshouse double shot. I want to make sure this is not. Yeah, so we've got to watch out for the ramp. I've kind of played myself by having ramps here. See, I like that placement there. Oh, terrain modification failed. There we go. Can we get path to both of these? There we go. Nice. There we go. We've got these shops. Now. Who do you guys think you are? I've just given you shops and you've, you've jumped out of the window and you're going for what? You know what? You know what we do to disrespectful stuff like that? We yeet them. Where are you? Look at you. Rufus and Rita. More like... I, I'm trying to think of a pun, but I can't think of one. More like... Return yourself out of my zoo. Oh, that was such a bad one. That was such a bad one. But hopefully we'll get some good stuff in there. And that'll just be like a nice little area. Let's see. We should have 100% scenery as well. Okay. Can we get some vendors in there, please? Look, people are queuing and we don't have vendors. Please don't tell me I need to start setting up work areas. Hopefully people will go and work there. I mean, everyone else seems to be working everywhere else. I also, you know, I just want to pop in a toilet as well. We got any cool toilet buildings? Let's just have a little basic toilet block under here as well. Just, just, just hidden away there. Kind of offsets. This is where we're going to have a problem, isn't it? That's, that's not a good idea by any means. Oh, come on, just let me detach a path from this path. It's because it's on a slight, slight incline. Alright, well, let's sort out this alpha bongo status. Alright, and again, the bongo with the lower stats is going, getting voted off the island. Where are the alphas? they inside here, beefing. There's one. And I think that's the other one. Young guns fighting for alpha status. Well, who's got the better stats? You're 11.25, you're 11.49, that just means you're you're out, you're out. Too many, goodbye. To the wild you go. And so a lot of people said, like, give these guys contraceptives because they breed way too often and I keep having to do this. But the problem is, if I do that, then when they die, they're dead. Whereas if I keep breeding them, we keep getting, like, better and better genetics through chance. Um, so that's kind of what we want to be doing here. That's what we want to be doing. And get a better, better in ratings. As time goes on. So, right, let's go back to here and try and path this toilet up. Ah, uh, you have ruined my vision. Game, you have ruined my vision. I really like this as it is. 
Let's see. Advance move. Right, edit group. Can we afford to move you? Okay, you know, that looks okay. It's not as nice. Wait, let's go like there. You know, actually, we can make it look. So they've actually got different heights by literally ye yeeting them in the ground. <laughs> That's actually quite clever. Alright, let's have it like that. Now let's grab these and move those. Move that in a bit. There we go. That looks almost as nice as before. It's looking good. Alright. It's another job done. Oh, we had a stutter, but the game didn't crash just yet. Okay. There we go. We got staff working in. Yo, this guy's having a great time. Look at Mate, you, you're getting some extra training, mate. Valentine Bugby. I love your energy. I love your energy, Valentine Bugby, with a name like that. You know what? Have a, have a pay rise. Have a pay rise. I love that from you, mate. What a, what a lad. The staff room is so far away, I'll be one up by the time I get there. <laughs> what? You walk? I guess it's a little far away. I mean, we could put in a new staff room. Let's see if any we like any of the blueprints. Oh, a new world staff room. So that's just got... Has that literally just got a staff room in it? That's it. It's a lot of space for just a staff room, isn't it? Then we've got... We could have a small staff room. We could whack one in. It's a bit of decor, isn't it? It's a bit of decor. Yeah, you know what? Let's just whack one in there and just add it to all their rotations. And it's just just a little something that looks kind of nice. Why not give, give everyone a new staff room? So, here's where I need to... I need to add that to all the work zones, don't I? It's annoying. I wish they just they just go to their nearest. Um, I wish they just go to their nearest thing. Oh wait, I can do this quite quick actually. There we go. Turn it blue. Okay, this is actually quite quick. There we go. Let's give that to all these guys. Right, hold on. Sorry, I'm, I had a bit of a main brain derp there. Okay, this ain't actually too bad. I never realised I could do this. Aardvark and Pongo. I don't even know what I've done and what I haven't done. Let's just work from the bottom up. Salt crocodiles. Oh, it changed. What the heck? Why does it change? The order. That's weird. I don't know who I've set it to and who I haven't. Is it on all of them? This is really obnoxious that it changes the order. Do you see that? I think we've got it on all our work zones. Sorry, I, if, if you can... I'll double check it's on all of them anyway. But there we go. They just got a new little staff room. Mechanic research complete. They're flying through this stuff. There we go. Two research is done. Alright, let's get... Cody, let's get you on to... Get you on to the classic theme. East Asia scene going up. Alright, it's about time we get some new animals in the house. We've done our, like, kind of administration bits. Let me... No one cares about the guests. Hey, I care about the guests. They're, they're bringing me big stacks. Look at the money we're making right now. But let's pause it up while it's nice weather. Let's get an animal trading. See what see what deals we got. Alright, hippo season is in. Mandrills, aardvarks, crocs. We have... It's, it's good seeing that we have a lot of these. We don't have any black bears. I see them often at the top. Um, turtles... See, look, hyenas are looking like the, the top winners here, which is why we're most likely... We're getting some hyenas in the house. Nice cop. Although, yeah, perfect. What's their social group? Let's see. Uh, okay, two to four, up to two males, up to two females. And we've got almost that on the trading screen. So let's, let's cop those legends. So let's get... Okay, we're going to have one female. Cheap value as well. And let's get the two males with the best stats on them. There we go. Let's grab all those. And we're looking good. Okay, so we've got enough to start a hyena exhibit. So now let's learn a little bit about them. 
Uh, first of all, let's go on. Okay, animal storage. All right, let's get in your Zoopedia. Okay, so... They're, they're not exactly rare, but they're... Oh, land requirement, 1,100 meters. Okay, that's a lot. I need a big old space to run around in. Two to four. Um, okay, grassland, Africa. Just getting an... I need to get an idea of what 1,100 meters is. is. So... That's 1,400, so it's about that size. It's about that size we need. So the bears actually have way more space than they need, but I dig them as an animal. So I'm considering putting hyenas either here, or maybe like here. You know what, I want to probably put another like thing of like shops and then maybe a plaza area there. It's like a secondary plaza. So... So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Symmetrical right now, but these are, you know, this is a little area. Where do we go next? It's like, you know, I feel like just space-wise, we need something here. So first of all, we're going to see if any of the hyena exhibits that I've researched are any good. So we go... Damn it. We can't get any of these habitats. So it looks like we're doing our own from scratch here. Which is a little bit of a daunting process. I wonder if I want to change the terrain. Do I want them raised up? I I think having them raised up was actually a bit of an issue here. Although I do like the idea of having kind of some increased scenery. Oh, it's a negative effect from the staff room. You're right. You guys are actually right. I totally forgot about that. Hmm. You are right. That's why you tend to do all these buildings in the same area. So I could just move it. I mean, it's a very, very minimal area. We can just move it out the tiniest bit. That's not actually too bad there. There we go. Should probably put some like bushes around it. Oh wow, we've got like a... That looks a bit dodgy. Can I fix that up? Let's see, flatten the tree foundation. I mean a bit. It'll do. Get rid of this horrible long grass. We do not, we do not approve. Okay, so that's out of harm's way now. Alright. I mean, I could place the exhibit here. I think I'm going to have it... The thing is, I want a viewing area looking good. And I actually don't want to double up this as a second viewing area. I maybe want to put some, like, facilities around here. So I'm thinking actually off this path could be quite good. Maybe even if I have it, like, go, like, circular out here. Do we just dive into this? I don't know. I don't know if there's like a... There's a more sensible way of doing this. How do I... Like we could have it... We could have pathways going under, over. Put them in with the bears. Don't see that going down well. I almost want to do it out of curiosity. But no, we're not at the point where we're going to trash our whole reputation right now. So this could be like their sheltered area. Like around to here. Um, and then it means that I'm not in dealing with a negative effect area. So I could have it kind of like expand like almost like a circle. So if it was a circle, it would have to be approximately like almost square. This is why I love having, you know, I'm going to say, this is why I love having pre-built because it just means this bit I don't have to worry about myself. I had a very clear idea of what I wanted to do there. I don't have a clear idea of what I want to do here. So I do raise it up. Do you know what you can actually do that's really sick? Okay. All right, we're going to try something a bit mad here. I'm going to try and have like a circular viewing area. So people can stand in the middle and it's going to be a circle around here. All right, this is, this is, I've, I've never attempted this. I've only ever seen this. Let's see how we do this. So, so this would be, this is going to be the center of the exhibit and people can see all around it. How high do I want this? About there. That would be roughly the center of the exhibit, right? If I want a big square, we'll circle looking thing. So now let's just bring it down a little bit. So it, give the length a bit more. Okay, no, so we want, I want it to like expand out. I don't want it to change the end thing. 
I want it to like expand to a circle, but I don't know how I would actually do that. Here's no, okay, I got it, I got it. Are you ready for this? Time to time for Vic to be smart. So we have that like that for now. Now we do a short path. Let's go for an eight meter. Probably a six meter just to get the effect I'm looking for. You ready for this? This may or may not, this, this isn't gonna work actually, I don't think. We would have that like that. Now. You can, you guys, you guys can probably tell what I'm going for, right? Um, that ain't it, Chief. I want it to be like a circular viewing platform at the end. I don't know how I'm going to go about doing that. I want to link a path to there. Wait, hold up. This could be it. No, it's not going to be. Aha. Could this work? Thing is, it's going to make that small because it's like got one support point. Anyone got any ideas how I can make this work the way I want it to work? Because look, that makes that small. I want it to be like, I want it to be literally that, but connected. Anyone got any ideas? Wait, use a staff path and then link it. Is a suggestion I've got. It's gonna be a. It's it's, it's a good concept, but. So how sick would that be? You've got like a circular viewing area. I love the idea of it. I love the concept of it. You can build craziness. Unless I make it like a T-junction kind of thing. So it's like that. You got to that and that is the middle of the enclosure. And you have like a pathway going up. That could be better actually because just one of those could get a bit crowded. So let's actually, let's go over to here. Get it a bit closer. I want it to be there and there. We're going to work from that. And then I know now with paths, I can drop down the length to eight meters. Have it connect. Come on. Connect. Why won't you just, just do what I want you to do? Is it because it's too close? It's like linking on... Either end. Try square edges on the ramp. Ha. I think that's actually a little too close to have the ramps. So let's. Sorry, this is slightly. Move that ever so slightly away. Now I have a path in here. Oops, I don't want that. Just connect to the damn middle, you son of a gun. Why? Why won't you do it? Path, eight meters. It sees that as like a snap point there and a snap point there. So I actually need to maybe make this longer. So I got an idea. 10 meter path there. 10 meter path there. This is going to make a viewing area probably a little bigger than I had in mind, but go to view. Oh, this path tool is the most frustrating thing ever. Is there any way you can, uh, like, make it not snap? There's got to be a setting, like... There's not, there's just not. Wait, use T-junction when joining path. Hold up. Could that be what we need? Let's try. 
Go for a seven meter. Make it three long, then do the path up. Yeah, I think that's honestly what we need to do. Sorry, guys. So, let's make it eight meter. Just so it doesn't look ridiculous. You know what we can do if we're doing that? We can actually make it like a slight, slight curve. Like, there we go. Here we go. Now, go for a smaller path. Okay. Does that look stupid? Be honest. I think it's too big. It's too, it's too. Hold up. Could we work from here? The length. We want to go less length, but you can't. All right, let's see. Why is my phone not on silent? Sorry about that. What are you doing? All right, path, just go to the middle. Put three of the circles, then join it to the middle one. I'm going to lose my mind. There's got to be a better way. I, I'm sorry, guys. I just, I just had such a nice, simple idea. If anyone has any, like, suggestions, that would be a little more productive than just flaming it in the chat. I don't want to give up on my dreams. Make a circle with the path. Okay, let's try that. You know, you know, that could actually be a shout. Let's see if we can do something like this. You could be right. That's the best idea I've heard yet. Do so you want it? Yeah, about this height. About this distance. Oh. Could be on something here. Okay. You know what? That's close to what we want. I just need to make sure this is aligned more correctly. Okay. Yeah. Building it from scratch was a good idea. Um, we could use six meters. Can I make our own circle here? All right. Do we go square edges? No, I kind of like the circular edges. Okay. Got the height we want. Sure. All right, middle of the enclosure is going to be here. But that's not how I want the grid to... Okay, wait. Now if I link a path to this, that's too close again, I think. But that would work. That would give us... Okay. Okay. We're getting there, sorry. Why am I apologizing? I'm work I'm I'm trying my best. I'm trying my absolute best here. There's nothing to apologize for. Tiny bit farther away. We're getting there though. That's what I wanted to do. We finally worked it out. Most thanks to your help. So we wanna have it yeah, just just a bit further out, so. And a circle, it doesn't matter where we actually get it. So we want the first piece to be a little further out than here. So and here we go. It's time. Although, shall I make it? I'm going to make it a bigger circle. <laughs> I'm going to make it an eight meter circle. Oh, wait. I should have probably used that height. Oh, we're going to get it right. Sometimes it's important to get things exactly how you want them. So here, about here, we're going to have the middle of the enclosure. 
there. There's our circle. Now we just get our path. Going like that. And you know what? Have it have it curve off a bit. <sighs> Guys, it took me a long time. But you know what? Let that be a lesson in life, okay? When you want something, even if it takes you 10 minutes of looking like you're an idiot, don't give up. Alright, this has been your motivational circular path tutorial. You play Planet Zoo and you can't get it to work. Don't worry. Just, just give it time and you'll get there. And I'm going to save my damn game before it crashes. <sighs> Alright, persevere. Don't give up. Don't let people tell you you should give up. Don't let people tell you you should settle less for less than what you want. Alright, if you want something, go get it. Alright. <laughs> How did Planet Zoo become a motivational guide? I don't even. Can't even. What do we reckon? Something a bit like that. It gives me room to put like shops and stuff there. Um. Yeah, because nothing else is... Uh, although, no, it's probably just going to be seeing me that goes there. Is this the kind of vibe I want to go for? Okay, I guess that... No, that needs to be more central, so I need to kind of keep... Should we make it a love heart? Or should we try and make it a perfect circle? Try and keep it a relatively perfect. I mean, it's not perfect, but the idea is that it follows that curve around. See, I want the fence, I want it to be a perfect circle, so I want the enclosure, you know what, we can do, we can do it more like that. So that would move, we need to redo that whole little section, so that would go to there. Is this neat enough? I want that to be one piece, but let's move this. Out a bit. <laughs> you ever draw a circle and realize it's not <laughs> nearly circular enough? I mean, what do we think? No, no, there's there's way too much distance there and not enough distance here. That's not a good enough circle for me. It just looks messy. I'm going to have to, all right, take it back to the drawing board. Again, if you're not happy, do it again. It's, you know, it's really hard to do a perfect circle from top down like this. Barriers. Curve sections. This might be the key. Wait, long curves. Uh -huh. It won't let you start with a curve section, which is annoying. You need almost like a tiny non-curve section. So let's say we want the edge of this to be 
realistically, we've got, so we need that clearance, that arc, coming around from there. It's going to be about here. Now long curved sections. Right, now we need a tiny little straight bit there. Now, 30 meter curves. Where have my, where's, where's the curved option gone? Oh wait, is it, can that not curve? Ah. Okay, here we go. Oh. Snazzy. Why has this not made my life any easier? It's because that... Oh, uh, I'm going to need like... I, ah! It's not going to not gonna work, is it? Because it, you've got your 20 meter section. That's what you've got. Like, I can't... I can't manipulate the bend point. I also do need a flat pit to put a door. I might have to make a scuffed curve. Alright. No, no worries. Sorry, guys. I tried to be smart there, but we're, we're learning things. We're learning things. All right, I know from here. Four meter sections, otherwise we'll be here forever. I need to, you know what I need to do? I need to keep my camera centered. You know, it's hard. To, <laughs> I wish there was a tool for drawing circles. Is there no tool for like drawing that would be so sick if I could like drag a circle of fences out. So hard to tell if I'm following this correctly because the camera angle keeps changing. Comes in too much. That, I would say, is good that far. It's when the camera angle changes, that's when you end up with an imperfect circle. Oh my goodness, guys, 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 guys. I've worked it out. Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. You ready? I think I've worked out something really smart here. I think, I think I'm a genius. I might not be, or I might be. You ready for this? I didn't know why I didn't think of this. Ha 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 ha! Yeah, boy! Ah, oh, a compass! I've designed a compass. Think about it. Think about it. Think about what we've just done. Shit. All right. This ain't gonna be easy. Let me place my damn wall, suckers. No, I wanna pl I wanna attach. Wait, don't, don't, don't ruin my hopes and dreams like this. Don't tell me I can't attach multiple walls. Oh, you've got to be having a laugh. Wait, hold up. What if I use nulls? Oh my goodness, I thought I had a genius idea, but. Planet Zoo, I'm gonna kill you. You can only attack, you can't. Wait, hold up, you know, no, I'm not giving up, I'm not giving up yet. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Okay. You, you'll have to do better than that to sink me, game. I'm gonna I'm a work, I'm gonna work till this is done, all right? Yes, aha, outsmarted Planet Zoo. You have nothing on, on a mathematician like me. Absolutely nothing. I'm gonna get my perfect. Perfect. Is that the center? It's not perfect center, but it'll do. It'll do. I don't want to keep you guys here five ever.
I've put so much work into this, but it's... I, again, as I always say, I hope it's as rewarding for you guys as it is for me. Just just seeing it just seeing it work. Just seeing it work, to be honest. Just a little bit of geometry. That's all it is. Also, touch wood, fence, because that's what I'm doing right now. We haven't had one game crash yet. That needs to be further away. Look at us go. Who would have thought it? Oh my goodness, it's so circular. So damn circular. It's more circular than I could have ever imagined it being. Ever so slightly imperfect, but hey, isn't everything really? Even though we're employing some high-level mathematics here. And if you guys end up playing Planet Zoo, hey. You've got this little this little strategy to help you along the way. Now this has got to be to like here. Now what we can do with this is yeah, get rid of that. Okay, let's uh Pull this out. Let's save. Let's save. Do we think it's big enough? I think it's gonna be big enough. Is there any way to like measure area? I don't know, but that looks sick. I hope it's. I hope it's got enough area. If it hasn't, oh my goodness, we're gonna cry and back to the drawing board with me. I'm sure we can find some creative way to make it work if it isn't. Right, let's move that out to there. Move that out to there and link them in. And then we can tweak them in once they're done. What we can do... Actually, make this one shorter, I think. How do I bring the height down? Wait, is it? Sh oh, wait, hold on. I can grab you. I hope this is. Does it say how, like, high they can jump? Let's go on the Zoopedia for him. Let's save again. Actually, wait, we can, yeah, we can use pi to work out the radius. Okay, so it's pi r squared. Um, okay, I think some of you have done it. Wait, hold up. Yeah, ah, oh, oh no. I mean, 20 was the max I could do a circle for, so we may have to put a different animal in, which is fine. Uh, let me see what we needed. Let's see, zoo, uh, animal trading. Okay, so you suckers need... Zoopedia. I mean, I'm sure some of you are doing, but I'm just doing it myself. You need 1162. So we've got the radius is 20. Uh, so it's quite simply. Uh, I think we're good, actually. If we run the maths. Okay, so uh, pi, 3.14, times uh, the radius, which is 20 squared, times 400, equals 12.56. And we need 11.62. We've lost this chunk here, but I can probably minimize how much this is. We should, we should just about make it. It'll be tight, but the math checks. Now I want to check. Is there any way I can see how high they can jump? I don't think they can jump very high. It's a, it's, it's a high, it's a little thing. I don't think it's going to jump the fence. Let's see. If it does, it'd be memes, but. Yeah, when the math, when the math check out. I may not be good at the design part, but give me the maths, give me the stats, give me the statistics, and I will, so let's see, doesn't really say, I feel like any boundary is going to do it, okay, they're 85 centimetres tall, what do we think, what do you think, how high can a hyena jump, should I google it, how high can a hyena jump, how high can a hyena <laughs> jump, I'm googling it, <laughs> How high can a hyena jump? We're learning all sorts today. Okay. 
looking for a number. This is a blog post. Alright, what adaptations does a hyena have? How high can a hyena jump? Apparently a hyena can jump two, two meters high. I don't believe it though. Well, I mean, it probably can, but I don't know if they can on this game. 1.8. That's giving us good room here. Let's drop this to 1.8. That is 1.8. can stretch this out to give him a little more space. But look at that, the circle exhibit. Exhibit. So we just move that. There we go, they've got hella space there. A hyena exhibit for the ages. Alright, let's, let's slap a gate in here. Let's save again. I'm so proud of myself. I know it took me, what, like half an hour? But I, I, I'm I, so happy. I'm I'm buzzed. I think it was more than worth it. There we go. Let's just slap that. What is that trying to move? Are you trying to move where my, where my gates are? Huh? No, I'm not having you mess with my circle, mate. All right. It will stick. It's because it's trying to link it to the path, isn't it? All right. Let's just have it there. That's fine, just because I know that way. Let's have a path. Let's get a staff path. Not a boy that thick. There we go. That's how the staff gonna be getting in. We don't need any glass viewing areas. Because we're chilling. Oh, your voice your voice so just look at that. That looks like a guy who knows his stuff. <laughs> Alright, let's get him in here and let's start. Or should we start? We'll just do a bit of terraforming now. So what I want to do is I want to give him like a little... You know, I could give him like a little shelter area underneath the middle maybe. Oh, wait. Guys, guys, I got it. I got it right here. I got it right here. I got it right here right now. I've been waiting my whole life. Okay, now that's a bit tall. <laughs> in my head, that was a significantly smaller shelter. Wait, there's, are you mad? Oh, I love it when a plan comes together. I love it when a plan comes together. Oh, the house is underneath the thing. That's just, that's just iconic, okay. Where do we want, do we want, oh, wait. Okay, now we just need to advance, move it down a bit. That's not gone well. Okay, wait. Let's try that again. I knew I had something just right for this. How does this work? So... I can't see anything because it's long grass. Let's get rid of this for now. Just so I can see what I'm working with. Look how good the circle tool just fits. Alright. Make it deeper. Yeah, we can do that. We can make it like a bowl. Actually, let's do that anyway. Let's, let's do that first. Let's push it down. Look at that. Ho. Oh. oh, my goodness. Okay, like that. Like, like that. Like a shallow little bowl. I think that looks quite cool. What do we think to that? Do we like that? And then we can even, like, pull up the edge bits a little bit. Is that too much of a bowl? Right, let's do... I mean, that's like a little shallow dip. I like that, actually. And that's kind of nice. Guys, I think we can uh, we can stop panic saving now as well. I'm going to give him a little water area here as well. Let's see. Now let's get that circular shelter in. Wait, I need to paint over with grass again. Just so I can see what I'm working with. I think what it's going to now do as well is it's going to bring the terrain up with it. 
you know, let's have their entrance this side just because it's nearer the kind of zookeeper area. So now we want to center that up like so. I can't get my camera to there, but that doesn't look quite right. It's just that that's actually out of place. So let's advance move that. There we go. At what point are you floating? That point there. Cool. I like that as their little shelter area in the middle. It's kind of indented it a bit more, but that's nice. There we go. Got pillars through it a little bit, but it doesn't. It's not too much of an issue. We could move it ever so slightly. Do we miss center it, or are the pillars miss centered? Maybe ever so slightly we miss centered it. But you know, little imperfections are fine. Glass floor for the circle is a shout. It, can you? I don't think a glass floored path exists. Or does it? I don't think it exists. Unless is it something that I research, guys? As far as I'm aware, I didn't know. Oh, no gravel. Maybe it's something we research. Wait, let me get my... See if, see if you can research new path. It doesn't look like you can get... Uh, if, if that was a thing, that would be sick. But I don't think it's a thing, is it? Unless I'm missing something somewhere. Um, the visitors will uh, won't be able to see the animals when they're resting, but when they're playing around, they'll be able to see them, which is fine because animals need like space to get away from the kind of visitors. I think this will bang. I think this will bang. You can't actually delete the pillars. The game auto generates them to support the path. Okay. Um, so what else are we gonna do? Terrain. Let's get them a little water area. Now, I'm going to have to make this quite small here. Because, um... <laughs> Yo, that would be a sick water animal enclosure, to be fair. Um... Okay, we're going to need to do that better. Because the whole thing's downwards, I need to make, like, a real dip, I think. You need to make a serious water hole. There we go. Can we smooth that at the edge? I guess that almost looks like a savannery kind of water hole. If you ask me. I don't know why this isn't smoothing very much. Smooth just sometimes just doesn't seem to work, does it? I guess that's, that's quite cool because it's like almost like in their habitat, like they would have to go down, like, you know, it's dried out African savannah. They've got to go down to get the water. That maybe, so let's put them in and let's, uh, let's see how they're, see how they're going. Obviously we're going to work from, work from what they want to see. We've got to get all their stats in here. But I'm really starting to feel myself with this game. Like there's no way I would have attempted this even like yesterday or the day before. It's just from learning, trialing, and erroring that I've kind of got to where I'm, I'm comfortable. All right, let's get them in the house. Obviously, we need to assign them everything. We need to do all the stuff, but I want to get their habitat right. You can remove pillars and options. I mean, I like the pillars anyway. They, they make it look legit. Oh, we, this is good. All right. Come on, put them in the house. Why have you got low welfare? Your socials... Wrong. Distress and trying to hide. You know, I think it's because they're stuck. I think they're stuck. All right, yo, chill, champ. I think they're stuck under. The <laughs> they've got themselves stuck under their feet and next to all the people. All right, let's just move you to there. Let's grab you. Move you to there. And I think they'll be fine. I think they've glitched themselves. And let's see, are you fine now? Oh, would you look at that? You're not stressed anymore because you're not stuck under your blooming barrel. All right, hyena in, in place. Yo, these guys look kind of sick, you know? All right, let's save the zoo. 
And let's uh, let's get this looking funky fresh. I'll let him just get out of this box a little bit. Okay, so. I need to make the water hole smaller. Okay, we can do that. Let me take out the water. Here. I don't, I'm assuming they don't, they probably don't need a massive water area. I think they've lost like a bit of ground there. I think dropping it down may have been a slight mistake. Can we, we can probably get a little more space out of there. Okay, let's, let's focus for now. All right, sculpting, flatten to foundation, which is here. Okay, let's give him a, a small little water hole. Let's line it up directly straight along from here. It's going to be quite small, but I don't think they'll need a particularly massive one. Does that seem mean? Also, I really don't like this. Wait, let's... I need to smooth all this out just because it just doesn't look right to me. Smooth. I think that's fine. It's a little water hole. Let's see. So now let's see how much navigable, navigable area they've got. <laughs> Okay, they're still short because they're missing all this area here. Alright, we're going to have drastic times calls for drastic measures. Taking this down to a meter, but... I think we'll be fine. I think we're going to be fine here. We're giving them more space. Don't know how navigatable it is. They can't escape from that. No chance. Give them as much room as we can. I think they can fit there as well. I think it's this is giving them less, like this, they've lost all this area here. So I may have to pull that back up. I might have to delete that, smooth the train, and pull that up a little bit. If we're short of area. Yeah, these guys make weird noises. Oh, do they need, they need more land at, wait, hmm. Idea. You know, I can actually, you know what I can do? I can just drag all of these out ever so slightly. It's not actually stress. It's no stress at all. Because I know these are now symmetrically lined. Here, don't worry about it. Actually, I got it. It's not as dangerous as I think it is. Because I just pull all of these out a slight little bit from the center. And we keep our circle strategy. This is actually how I should do all of my enclosures. I should build them. I should uh, build them first, then just stretch them to size. You know, actually, I should go a little, probably a little harder here. We're going to have to smooth all the terrain back out. We should probably give them more space than they need. Just because, I guess if there's more of them, they're going to need more space. I mean, we're only actually going to ever end up with one more, so let's just... This should be fine there. I'm gonna leave that one there because it's there. I'm gonna go back to these and just pull them out a little further. A sly bit further. I think I forgot to pull that one out at all. Let's pull that out a decent bit. It's not as beautiful a circle as it once was. I think I went. Not far enough here. The idea is still there. It's annoying, but there's no kind of way to avoid this, like, sadly. We had a perfect circle and we threw it away. It's good enough for me. Maybe pull. No, I am going to have to pull this out if I can. That's fine. Path, staff path. And you'll be surprised at how much that actually adds. Let's see. Like, I reckon that's added like 100 meters to that area. Let's see. Okay, it's added 100 meters, but that's still not enough. 
Okay, we've got to go more with it. Um, glass items in construction, but you can only make your, your own path with advanced movement. You think I have the brain cells to do that. You're somewhat mistaken. I think actually we need to go further out here. We need to go a decent bit here, sorry. Slightly misunderestimated how much room these guys need. So sick, I'm still like gas with the enclosure. I guess this is like the absolute biggest circular enclosure you could ever do as well. With a perfect circle. It's a shame, it's a shame they didn't just fit. 20 meters was the uh, aim. We're going to lose a decent bit of our circularity. You know, I could have actually done it right if I'd have uh, actually done a 20 meter piece. Then like a 4 meter piece and uh, locked it to a grid. So for future reference, if I need to do a more than 1200 square meter enclosure, I know how I need to do it. Okay, we've got, we've got the same-ish space everywhere, but probably here. Move this out again. I mean, realistically, moving that up is a smart idea, but I kind of like the way it's sheltered away. And there we go. <laughs> By a meter, they have enough space. Is that going to work? Because the thing is, it's weird, right? Because their Zoopedia says they need 1,100. But I guess it's, it's... If you have more of them, you need more land. Which means we're going to need... Yeah, have the ramp down further out. And then... I know, I know. I should have thought of that. To be fair, I could get the complete circle. I could move that out there and over there. But in terms of congestion, I like it being there. I should have thought of that. I should have had this pathway go out. Could still have it go out there and loop down there. But no, I like that. It's fine. It's, it's, uh, hindsight is a wonderful thing. It just fills the, uh, fills the area. I guess once we get our fourth hyena, if I need to expand it a bit, I probably can. I'll just make sure not to build too close to it. Unless I advance move this up. Terrain. Can I smooth this? You know, maybe if I put down a big smoother, they'll get more navigatable terrain as well. Um, I'd imagine that has worked. I imagine that's given them like an extra good few meters there get all that long grass okay let's save no crashes today honestly i think it was just the game running in uh in 2k rezo was just messing up let's see let's see if that's worked just so we know for future reference if something like that would work no they actually lost space through that somehow some damn how Actually, you know, if I put that a little down there, that probably gives them... Oh, wait. I don't know. If we're back to where we were, aren't we? Wait, hold up. See, why are you floating? Now I'm stuck in here. Is that floating? It is, isn't it? Yeah, it's floating. Weird. I'm stuck. I'm stuck in here. And now we've lost, like, this is navigable terrain. Whatever, we've gotten the space they need. We can expand it a tiny little bit. <laughs> Literally dead on what they need. Okay. <laughs> Screw it, we, we've wasted enough time working on this. Let us get on with... So they want more long grass. I, I want to kind of paint this nicely, so... I'm going to start by getting rid of it, though. I like it kind of around the edges. Maybe around their house area, we can have a bit more long grass. Just 
just a little bit like kind of under the bridge. We would definitely want to give him more soil. Make it a bit more Africa y. And they want more long grass. We can also al almost make it look kind of topographic. Make that muddy. Oh, wait, oh no, less long grass. Oh, we got too much long grass. Which is fine by me because I don't really like the long grass. Now you need more short grass. This guy's a pretty easy gang in terms of terrain. Make that a sandy, sandy pool. Now we look for this fine sand. That's pretty fine. That looks quite cool. We can make a little rock feature there. Bang, bang. All right, so they need plants. That's what they need next. They've got, oh, they've got all the hard shelter they need, and, which is beautiful. But yeah, this place needs some decoration. So it is Africa grassland that we need. So nature. Toggle it to biome. Grassland in Africa. <laughs> cool, whack that in. Job done. <laughs> Do you imagine? Whack that in. Job done. That is a... Wham tree. Oh, you know what? I should put a tree coming through the middle. That could be sick. These guys don't climb, do they? That's such a sick thing to add at some point. You know what I'm going to say, just in case. But we've been pretty good so far. Okay. Wait, you guys don't climb, do you? Hello, hello, Aina. Uh, Zupedia. Do, 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 do. Climb requirement zero, yeah. Do they climb? Probably not. Does it say anywhere? World records. Cool. Alright, no, no. Let's get on with this. Okay. Alright, have we got any kind of custom whole features? Apparently this is African grassland, but it doesn't look right, does it? No, no, no. Okay, we got some funky looking trees. Feel like geologically, they would be located kind of close to the waterhole. Add one of those there. We can add a little one on the other side. And that looks quite nice. Now we just need some shrubbery around them. Put some kind of flowers. That have kind of grown. Need some maybe a bit of elephant grass. Make it look more of a natural waterhole kind of thing. That looks quite nice, doesn't it? It looks like, yeah. That tree is supporting that life. That's what tree roots tend to do. Tend to support more life. We could have just one like standalone YOLO tree. There's out here. Got my rulers. Can you get any big boys here? Those are kind of... I want uh, an acacia umbrella tree. Ha oh, ha, yeah boy. These are... I don't know what it is about these trees, but I just think they're very sick. Thorn acacia trees. These, these They're big boys though, aren't they? I'd also like love to... I mean, we could put one. The thing is, the circle layout, they don't really fit, do they? We could add a whole tropical waterfall. This just doesn't quite fit in this exhibit, does it? It needs to be like a linear exhibit. I don't dig that too much. See, are they? Surely they can't. They, they don't. They don't like all this stuff. Surely. Like, if I was to add that, into, it doesn't fit. That's not. No, no, no. Let's chill. Let's chill. Let's chill. Remain calm here. I think one of these trees just on their own over here, just giving a bit of shade. Be quite nice. Just one, one of these. Over here. 
you know, I should keep an eye on, like, there. Oh, I think I've got too many things open at once. And there it is, our first crash of the day. You know what, an hour and 25 minutes into the episode, I'm not mad. It's definitely like, I, I, I push the, the game harder and harder and harder. I'm like, I want these menus, I want these animals to look at, I'm building these pathways, these fences, and doing all this terrain, and then it just, it just crashes itself. I do love trees a little bit too much. Add trees outside it. Mm, I mean, potentially. Potentially. I like the idea of putting like a uh, like a thing of reeds around their little their little shelter area, so it's like they they can go and like hide in there, like if they hyenas hiding hiding hyenas. Um, if they get, I mean, they probably won't get stressed by the people. The people are way up. You can spend so long. You can spend like four hours on one enclosure on this game. It's nuts. Oh yeah, I'm gonna lose navigatable land if I decorate. I have to expand more. You know what? I think you're right. Let's check up on that. I may quickly do that now before we go any further. You raise a good point. Oh, I lost my trees. Because that's... Oh, wait. Well, actually, we haven't seen it yet. Let's keep an eye on this. Because, yeah, if I do... Yeah, I think you guys are right. So, it's... it's Africa... What is it? Grassland Africa? I think it is, yeah. Okay, close that. Let's get these trees back in. Let's have one of these big boys there, leaning towards the water. Let's have another one on the other side. That's too low. Which way do we want it? That way, probably. And then let's put in, so what we're we gonna put in? We had, yeah, reed stands under this one. Actually, the reed stands, probably like a smaller collection that actually is like sprouts under the tree, about that. Now we want, what was it we put? Elephant grass under here. Now let's hit play. Yeah, you right. Oh, we lost 40 meters there. Oh, the struggle. Okay, we need to... So what we're going to do is we're going to chill a little... No, I love the decoration. I, I'm, I'm going to have to make that thing even bigger here. Jeez, these boys need hella space. All right. It's all right. You know, we'll do it. We, got, we got just about scope. I did measure out fairly well how much space we'd need. Let's get to work. That's really. I do now wish I'd done a flat pathway coming in. But hey, hindsight is always a great thing. Because slightly we're going to lose our uh, circular here. You know, I can work out if I'm pulling it by the same amount by making it a line here. The thing is, what I've been doing is I've not been pulling it directly from the center, I now realize. And I can't even start from scratch where I... Uh... So... I've got a method here where I know exactly how to pull it out the same amount from the distance. You can see I'm making this one a straight line. Then I come to here, a line with the middle. Pull out from that direction till that one's a straight line. Same again here. So I've got like little systems in place just to try and keep it as circular as I can. It's not bad, you know. It's actually, uh, you know what, it's not bad at all. Let's pull this one. It's not bad. That's going to be some significant extra space. Hit them with the play. And the more we add to this radius, the kind of way more space they're going to get. There we go. 
All right, 200 meters to play with. It's crazy how like one meter the whole way around, boom, you've got 200 meters to play with all of a sudden. Okay, now we can decorate a bit more. We've given them way too much long grass here. I hate long grass. I hate this stuff. You can get rid of most of it, to be honest. This is quite nice. Let's give him more soil. Let's give him... Make that a nice sandy area. Let's give him some, some rock. Alright, they happy. Let's save. Good call. Hyenas, man. They need hella space. Okay, right. Back on decoration or duties. Decoration. Bringing the decorations. Oh, that's a thick boy. Wait, did I get their? Uh, did I get their thing right? Let's see. Let me just remind myself of where you're from. Grassland, Africa. Grassland, Africa. What are the thick boy baobab tree? Ho oh, ho, it's a thick boy. <laughs> this tree dummy thick, bro. Oh, you know what? That's so lit. It doesn't. It doesn't make sense, but I think I might. So you got that one, that one. Should we just eat that in the top, just just for the culture? Surely that just looks sick. It doesn't make sense. But it's sick. We give them the baobab tree. The big baobab. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> that looks stupid. I'm sorry. I love it, but I also hate it. I could give them a wham baobab tree, though. These boys too thick for their actual... The only one we could have is the big boy. That just looks dumb, doesn't it? <laughs> People are actually backing it. That's the funny thing. <laughs> Wait, what about the big boy? I could actually, like, uh, what I could do is I could create, like, a little... Uh, you know what I can do, actually? <laughs> that just looks stupid. <laughs> Trees don't work like that. I'm sorry. We could put something small there. But we can't have a blooming bloody massive bloody massive baobab <laughs> baobab tree. It just I'm sorry, it just looks from a distance it looks stupid. To anyone that like we could get like a little like one of these. I might put something you know, I'll put like a little centerpiece. Like we could have something we will get something in that centerpiece, but it's not it's not gonna be that tree, I'm sorry. See it has to it has to actually be from here. Like, we could get, like, a circular version of that and put it in. I'm sure it would be very nice. But we're not getting the bloody massive baobab. I'm sorry, guys. As much as you want one. <laughs> so, we were thinking about, yeah. I like that just being, like, a, a few sparsely placed out marula trees. Just around, maybe, like, here. Give them a bit of shade that side. Again, let's get the, uh, get the decorations in the place. Okay. They don't really look like it would be where the hyenas chill. Got some nettles around here. That actually, you know what, we need it to taper off on the outside edges there. I need to be careful with the coverage because I'm doing stuff like that, I'm going to go overboard, aren't I? Okay, that's only 5% coverage. It's pretty good. 
Um. Okay. All right. We're gonna need rocks in here. I like. I, I always go overboard on the decoration. It's just what I do, isn't it? Got a nice little water hole. I like that. I like the way that's looking. Savannah Rock Shelter. Yeah. You know what? I'll just throw one of these in here. Just as, just as a bit of something. It's more shelter. And it just adds a bit. to the, It just makes it look... I think that's... No. No, we don't like that. We could use it as just a... We can make it into a custom rock outcrop, though, actually. I'm just going to use that as, like, a custom little little rock area for them to play on. There we go. Because it needs some area of rock. I'm going to add that. Like that there. That is not what we wanted it to do. Flattened terrain, no. There we go. We can have it sticking out of the ground. Up there. Even before they run and yeet themselves off it to escape the exhibit. Honestly, at that point, I'd rate them. I like that. Just, just like that. Why are you... Oh, it's because it's got the, uh, the bedding in it. Okay, here's, here's what we're going to do. We're going to be smart here. Place it down. Edit item. Get rid of that. That and that. Now... Exit, grab it. Don't crash me. Oh, it nearly crashed. Here we go. Vic has it under control. Just add that, like, that. Actually, I want to move it more towards me. I'm going to save as well before I crash it again. We could put a statue on the pathway in the top middle. You are dead right. What I can do is I can place this here. Like this. A bit of deco, and then what we can do is we can use the terrain to actually make it kind of fit in. There we go, that looks like a little bit of a less stock. Yeah, that looks quite cool. It's just, it's just a bit of decoration, really. If nothing else. I'm just going to check that uh, every plant in there is to these guys liking. <laughs> yeah, just you got to check that every plant is one that they like. Coverage is a bit up, but it's fine. Um, stop adding stuff. They live in open plains. <laughs> it's, they got a hello room to run around. It's mostly empty. I just, I just don't want it to look barren. I just want, you know. I want all of my... Uh, because remember, it's got to look nice for the visiting people as well as... As well as the uh, the animals, like just like a little little thing of flowers. You know we can put these in here. Just, 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 just a little bit of colour. Do you know what we need to do here? We need to make the terrain match. I was wondering why it didn't look quite right. If we get some short grass, we paint this area really grassy, just and like follow around. Then it looks like it makes more sense. It's like that's a little like little little arid area there yeah that looks way better now that like blends in i was like why doesn't that look right and it's because i've not terrain i should really do after uh after i've done anything else like what i can do is i can make this like put that on the two 
can make this yeah look like it's like a little a little oasis in the uh, in the in the dryness in the deadness. Cool. That's that. Yeah, is something that I can do to make everything much nicer. Do you know? I still want do want to keep on your train. I like the idea of putting kind of lots of plants around under there. All right. Save, save. I'm just going ham on the nature here. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> now is not the time for the baobab tree. I know everyone hates the trees, but I like them, so I will have them. You know, actually, no, what I will do instead is I will just duplicate one of these. I just realized having, uh... Right, I need to rotate them as well. So they don't look copy-paste. I just realized having, like, uh, two trees there, and then, like, two trees there just looked a little too... too mathed out. Right, let's keep it on the coverage. Put rocks under the platform so it's like a cave. I love that idea. I love that idea. Ben JXT. Coming in with the, the genius ideas. Coverage looking good. Yes. Let us grab some. Um, let's go on the rocks. I love that idea. So actually, you know, let's. Split you from group so I can steal you. Wait, you just want savannah rocks. Let's just go on nature. Savannah rocks. Let's get some of these. I very much like this concept. You can just do this the whole way around and just kind of give it a little bit of deco make it all kind of randomy I like this idea just I it's, it's, it's you know seldom really going to get seen But I do like, it's just a nice little concept. It makes these bits look a bit nice as well. We'll go with the bigger rocks here. To cover that bit. If you want to have like a big rock bit there. It kind of like extends out a bit. Just a little bit of detailing. That long grass hides it quite well. Yeah, this is just, just nice, this simple, simple touches. Can, yeah, remove the pillars. Yeah, that looks much cozier in there. Let's get a different rock. Give them the same thing here. There we go. That, yeah, that looks, yeah, that looks way nicer now. I dig it. Alright, now let's hit play. you love it. Um, we've still got loads of navigable areas, which is good because it means when we get one more of them, we'll be fine. I just thought I need stuff in these areas. You know what I'm going to do, actually? Let's play with the terrain a little bit. Let's just... Make a little ridge there. Let's make a little... Little dip there. Paint this all over. I like leaving that like that. 
add a bit of detail to it. Let's smooth that actually. I think we've kind of lost it there, to be honest. You could spend so long doing this. My goodness. You know, I want more Savannah rocks just dotted about. Let's get a different rock now. That looks quite cool because it looks like the ground's kind of raised around the rock. There we go. Yeah, this is adding a nice bit of depth. I might almost make that taller. Got random bits of rock knocking about. Have that almost just on the surface there. We can't use the same rock twice. What's that? That's 11. Yeah, let's go for 11. Actually, let's check. We haven't taken too much land from them. We might have done there. Nah, they still got plenty of land. <laughs> Yo, that laugh is terrifying. There we go. People are already coming to see it and there's not even any info boards, donation buckets, anything. It just like, compared to like every, like compared to like this and like this, it just looks very like bland. But I mean, what I think I'll do is I'll just do like micro decoration, just, just, just light stuff that's not too stand out like this. It's quite minimal, but I just want to kind of decorate it out a little bit. So that's all quite tedious. So in my own time, I'm going to decorate it out. Um, I am going to add the info boards and the donation buckets and like a speaker in the middle. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's taken me an hour, but I'm super happy with like, it doesn't look like a lot, but you guys saw the whole journey that we went on to get here. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move that out slightly, just keep the circle going. And hey, that gives some more room as well. We actually want that light to there, and that light to there. There we go, so they've got even more room now. Like I need, the, uh, oh, actually I need all their, their habitat stuff as well, but this is all super simple. I mean, I can do that right now, so you don't feel like you've missed out on that. Uh, for hyenas. Give them a football to kick around in the open area. Let's give them... Okay. Give them... Bamboo feeder over here. Do they really like that? Let's put a sprinkler down by the... Can we put it in the water? That hopefully is cool. Give them a good old cardboard box. What else do they want? Give them a small ball. Do they use those? I don't know if they do. This decorates the place out a bit more. Give them a water pipe. Let's put that in like this corner. Go and drink over there. We'll give them a large food tray. Just over here. So if you're happy with those now. Okay, you want more food enrichment. Okay, so you're not interested in not interested in this. So let's see, enrichment, food enrichment for a hyena. Where's their bamboo feeder? Did I not put it in? Oh wait, oh there you go, you like that, oh perfect, they're set with that. Let's put it in between the rocks so they can play with that over there. There we go. They got all the enrichment, all the terrain. Look at that, they're 100%ed out. They love it. Just need some, uh, I'll do some, uh, some of my own deco. Living, winning. And I need to assign keepers and stuff, but... That's easy for me to do. I won't bore you guys with the general admin. It's relatively circular. I'm significantly happy. And it will look a whole lot nicer next episode. I'll like really decorate like little reeds like stuff. Like I'll make it nice. Don't worry. Don't you worry. You're not actually just raising. 
See, it's just tiny little things. Like, I think if I just pull the terrain around that a little bit, if I paint over it with smooth grass, short grass, just that even adds significantly. Like, I can do that at all of these. Just pull the ground a little bit. Smooth it over. You can see how addicted I am, but there we go. Um, actually, I probably pulled it a little far there. Yeah, it's fine. I like it. All right. That is going to be all for today. Thank you for tuning in for another banger of an episode. I don't know if there will be an episode tomorrow or not. Uh, we shall see. Please don't uh, come to expect these as they are very long and I want to make sure viewers can kind of keep up with the episodes. I don't know what has happened there. We've had like a land cave in. But hey, it happens. <laughs> all right. That is it for the zoo. A thousand strong. See you all next time. Thanks. And I will check my super chats and then it's going to be goodbye. Thank you for the $5 um, Ehab Al Jundi says, how do I unlock blueprints that I get from Steam Workshop? Anyone please answer me. You have to uh, research uh, the, the things that make it in game with a mechanic in a workshop. Thank you, James Rodwell with the five pound. He said, just unlock the blueprint. Your designing skills are woeful. Also, it needs to be bigger. Rude. Took us a while, but I'm proud to have done it myself. Um, thank you for the super chat. Do not appreciate the uh, tone now. Have some respect. And uh, yeah, I will see you all on my next Planet Zoo. Make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications. Don't worry, I will save the game. Um, and yeah, I may stream on my Vixstar Play channel later tonight. Some PUBG or some Auto Chess or some, maybe some Blackout or some Call of Duty. I don't know. So check out that channel down below if you want to watch more streams later on. Uh, subscribe, turn on notifications, leave a like. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. I'm about to post a picture of my Christmas tree. If you guys want to see it, that will be on Twitter and Instagram. See you all next time. Thanks and goodbye.